Good morning, class. How are you today? Today in Jomba, we will start Unit 3. Let's see. Okay. Unit 3, Motor Birds. Motor Birds. Motor Birds. Okay. Gull. Maybe the third one. Gull. Duck. Duck. Goose, goose, penguin, penguin, albatross, albatross, swan, swan, beak, beak, feather, feather, wing, wing, again. Gull, duck, goose, penguin, albatross, swan, bee, feather, wing, wing. Okay. Do you know the duck? Did you see? Did you see a duck before? Yes. Okay. But. When we have a small duck, we call it duckling. Duck is big. Duckling is small. Duck is big and duckling is small. Excellent. Okay. And what about bows? What about bows? Goose is big. Goosling is small. So we have duck, big, duckling, small, goose, big, goosling, goosling, small. Is it clear? And what about swan? Swan is big. Signet is small. Let's write C Y N G F G E T. So swan is big. Signet is small. Ghost is big. Goosling is small. Duck is big. Duckling is small. So let's read the words again. Gull, duck, duckling, goose, goosling, penguin, albatross, albatross, swan, swan, swan. Swan, signet, beak, this word, feather, feather, wing, wing. Okay? Class, please open your student book, page 38. Unit 3, water birds. Birds of the oceans and lakes. Okay. Let's read about ocean birds. The albatross. Okay. One minute to read and then you will listen. Okay. Have you finished? Let's listen. Are you ready? Let's listen. Pupils book, Unit 3, page 38. Reading. Birds of the oceans and lakes. Ocean birds. Albatross. Albatrosses are the most amazing travelers. 
The great albatross has the longest wings in the world, and it can fly 400 kilometers in a day. Albatrosses can grab fish from the sea easily because they have hooked beaks. They can dive under the water, and some of them can dive down 12 meters. Albatrosses live for 50 to 60 years. Unfortunately, these beautiful birds are in danger. Fishing boats pull huge nets through the ocean. The nets trap many albatrosses when they dive in the water, and the birds drown. More than a hundred thousand albatrosses die in this way every year. Okay. The great albatross have the longest wings in the world. Okay. How many kilometers can the albatross fly every day? 400 kilometers. 400 kilometers. Why can the albatross grab fish from the sea easily? Why? Because they have hook beaks. What do we mean by hook beaks? Look at this picture. Hook beak means the beak is very large and curved. Very large and curved. So, uh, it can grab fish from the sea easily. Okay? And Alcatraz check stays on land for eight or nine months. Okay? Let's move to another one, another topic. Penguin. Penguin. One minute to read about penguin, then you will come back. Have you finished? Okay. Let's listen. Penguin. Some penguins live in very cold places. Others live in warm places. The emperor penguin is the tallest. It is 110 centimeters tall. The smallest is the little blue penguin. It is only 40 centimeters tall. Penguins can see well underwater, so they can catch fish in the ocean. The emperor penguin can dive down 565 meters and it can stay under water for 20 minutes. Small feathers trap air and keep the bird warm. Penguins cannot fly, but they are excellent swimmers. Okay. Did you see a penguin before? On TV? So, penguins can live in very cold places or in war. Places. The tallest penguin is 110 centimeters tall. The smallest penguin is called Little Blue Penguin. Excellent. And it's uh, 40 centimeters tall. 40 centimeters tall. Penguin can see well under water. Okay? So they can catch fish in the ocean. Penguins can't fly, but they are excellent swimmers. Okay? Please, please go to page 39. Please go to page 39. Lake and river birds. Lake and river birds. Let's read about swan, swan, okay? Two minutes to read silently and then we will listen. Okay, are you ready for listening? Let's do it.
Lake and River Birds Swan Swans build the most enormous nests in plants near the water. The mother and father birds build a nest from twigs and small branches. They stay together for life. The mother bird lays four to seven eggs. A baby swan is a cygnet. The parents can carry the cygnets on their backs when they are very young. These wide, flat feet help the swan to swim. Many water birds have webbed feet like these. Swans live on rivers and small lakes. Usually they are white, but sometimes swans have black heads and necks. The young cygnets are grey. They are not as beautiful as the adult birds, but slowly their white feathers appear. After a year, they are as strong and graceful as their parents. Class, did you see swans before? Did you see swans before? Let's discuss how many eggs can the mother bird lay from seven, from four to seven eggs. The baby swan is called cygnet. The parents can carry the cygnets on their back when they are young. Look at their feet. They have white flat feet. How can how can white flat feet help them? They help them to swim. They help them to swim. This is the skin. Two and these are web feet. Okay, they help them to swim. Excellent. Where can swans uh, live? Where can swans live? On rivers and small lakes. Excellent. What color are the young cygnets? Gray. And what color are swans? They are white, but sometimes they have black heads and necks. Okay, let's move to the last paragraph about ghosts. About ghosts. Excellent. Now, one minute to read and then come back. Have you finished? Let's listen. Slowly their white feathers appear. After a year, they are as strong and graceful as their parents. Goose A baby goose is a gosling. The plural of goose is geese. Many geese are wild, but you can see geese on farms too. They live near water. They can swim well, and they can fly over the land. When they fly together, they make a huge V in the sky. Okay. The plural of goose is geese. A baby goose is goosling. Okay. They can swim well, and they can fly over the land. Okay? Okay. Make a group with your friends and start reading with them. Start reading with them. Okay? Let's move to the next page. Let's move to the next page, page 40. Exercise. One. 
circle the correct numbers and words. Okay? Number one. In one day, an albatross can fly four forty or four hundred kilometers. Huh? Who can say it? Four hundred kilometers. Excellent. It's a draw. Number two. Albatrosses can grab fish easily because they have hook. Class, please go to page 40. Exercise number one. Circle the correct numbers and words. Let's see number one. In one day, an albatross can fly for 40 or 400 kilometers. Huh. Who can say it? 400 kilometers. Excellent. And albat albatrosses can grab fish easily because they have hook, they have hook but beaks, feet or wings. Hook beaks. Excellent. Albatrosses are in danger because of fishing. Lines, nets, or bowls. Bowls. An emperor penguin can dive down 5.65, 56.5, 565 meters. 565 meters. Excellent. Number five. Water birds have wet feet, so they can fly, swim, or run quickly. The answer will be swim. Okay. Let's complete number six. A baby swan is a check, signet, or gosling. Signet. Love. The last one. The plural, the plural of goes is goes, gosling, or geese. Gosling. Excellent. Okay, exercise number two. Think about the answers to these questions. Number one, which bird is the most beautiful and why? Two, which bird is the most interesting and why? Number three, can we help the albatrosses and how? Please Think about the answers to these questions with your friend. Let's move to exercise 3. Underline the verbs, circle the nouns. Okay, let's start by verbs first. We will underline verbs. Trap, lay, be, quick, dive, planch, net, die, tow, leg, draw. Okay, let's underline. Lay, dive, die, draw, 
Oh, we have one more verb. One more verb. Who can tell me? Trap. Excellent, the class. Okay, so we have five words. Trap, play, dive, die, throw. Let's move to the noun. Let's circle the noun. We with branch net to and leave. Okay? The second part of this exercise write the correct verb next to it next to each definition. Write the correct verb next to each definition. Let's start by number one. Who can read? To go head first into water. To go head first into water. Who can say? Dive. Excellent. Number two. To catch. What do we mean by to catch? Trap. Number three, to stop living, to stop living, die. Number four, to die in water, to die in water, drone, drone. The last one, number Five, to make an egg come out, to make an egg come out, lay. So we have dive, trap, die, drone, and lay. The third part of exercise number three, write the correct noun under each picture. Number one, what is this? What is this? It's a lake. It's a lake. Number two, what is this? It's a branch. Number three, what is this? It's a net. Number four, what is this? It's a twig. Number five. What is this? It's a beak. The last one. What is this? It's a toad. So we have Lake, branch, net, quick, beat, and go. Class, for homework, please answer your workbook page 22 and your booklet. Answer the passages in page 24 and 25. Thank you for this class and see you next time, Shalom. Goodbye.